Hello guys, my name is Desmond and I welcome you to my lesson for today where we will be looking at your mathematics. So ladies and gentlemen, as always, please do allow me to say it is very much important that I say it is very, very much important because honorable members, what I'm about to say, it's massively, massive. Hey, massively important, ladies and gentlemen, that I say a day without learning something new, it's a day wasted by so saying, Koli. Please, honorable member, Ruanile, please, 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 Temba Mutemba, please do make sure that by the end of each and every lesson that I conduct, you learn something new. Very, very much important, ladies and gentlemen, over there. So, let's see. This is exactly what we will be looking at in today's lesson. I'm hoping that we will start from number one and complete a, every question, meaning do number one up to number nine. So without any waste of time, I'm just going to start with the first problem. Most importantly, remain muted and only unmute if you've got a question a comment or in case if you notice that i'm making a mistake so bantu bagiti for the last time can someone just indicate if you can clearly see if you can clearly hear me before we start with the business of the day Bantu Bagiti, uh, someone to confirm if you can clearly hear me, if you can clearly see we can over there. We and see everything clearly, thank you. Okay, 100%. So let's see, we are having that and then also that. Okay, uh, this is what I want you guys to be aware of. Very, very much important that you always remember that. Um, tan angle it's equals to sine angle over cos angle number one number two remember at all the times that sine a squared angle note it down plus cos squared angle this is equals to one which means you can make this the subject of the formula by saying sine squared of an angle, it's equals to one minus cos squared angle. Let's see, that means cos squared of an angle can also be equals to um, one minus that. And most importantly, bandu uh, you should try by all means to remove the brackets when it comes to identities. I think it is important to note that. Also, in addition to all of that, you need to remember the LCD, lowest common denominator. But let's do a very quick exercise on that one. If you have a fraction, it could be 1 over 2, which is plusing, let's say, 3 over 4. Maybe let's add it on this list to say this is the sign that I normally use, and you will never go wrong with this sign where you say you multiply the ones at the bottom then you cross multiply that's what this sign basically means so let's see if we have to apply this on that fraction that means we're going to multiply that by that what is that by that uh, you can just write it as two uh, combining it with uh, that then you cross multiply meaning you're having a one that is cross multiplying with that. Remember, whatever the sign that you are having there, you use it. 
if it was a plus you put a plus if it was minus you put a minus but most importantly you cross multiply meaning you are having three multiplying that then on your next step that's when you can say that but that it gives you four plus that but that it gives you that that but that it gives you what eight then you can say that but that i think is 12 divided by eight which is equals to what i think it's a is it three over two I think it's three over two. <clears throat> so that means if you punch all of this on your calculator, it has to give you that, which means this is actually applicable to fractions. So now uh, this is what you can do. You can either take a screenshot at this stage just so that you have uh, that, or otherwise, if you were writing it down, then it's fine. So Anyone who's got a question before we start with the business of the day, honorable members? Hola! Are you okay there, honorable member? Uh, did you see what I've just done there very quickly? Yes, I understand. Okay, 100%. Maybe let me check. Uh, Salizwa, Salizwa Mtejwa. Are you okay that side, honorable member, before I start with the business of the day? Now, can you please start over explaining the, the one you just erased, please? Uh, wait, I'm suspecting a honorable member is attending. Maybe let me quickly confirm. Uh, Saliswa, is it your first time attending uh, my lesson? I think so. I think so. Okay. Uh, for the sake of time, Saliswa, uh, I think you are attending my lesson for the very first time. You might have responded but forgot to unmute your mic. So this lesson is being recorded. Uh, I'm telling you, yes. honorable member, I can yes. promise you this. Uh, yes, I've just noticed. So don't worry that much. Uh, tomorrow, I will make sure that this lesson is being posted. So it's going to be posted. I'm going to share the link. Then you can uh, catch it up. But what I've just explained there, you will notice it again as we continue. So I will make sure that I include that in the lesson and make it clear. So let's see, starting with the first question. So remember, we are proving identities where we try to check if the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. But most importantly, you need to firstly check which one can you work out. So can you see, you don't want to be seeing the brackets. That is why you're going to say, I'm actually going to focus on the left-hand side. So let's see. That means you are having this two times, meaning two times of the same thing. So that means we're having sine of that, cos of an angle, two of the same thing that's what it is meant because of that squared of hey now let's speak chinese Mzozozo knows very well what i meant by so mathematically we know da ba da da ba da da ba da da ba da so let's do that very quickly so let's see da ba da it gives us sine square of an angle a uh, da ba da most importantly most importantly, Bandibagidi, can you see you are multiplying sine and cos? And we said alphabetically, I'm just not sure if I said alphabetically or if I said alphabetically. But most importantly, between letter C and S, which one comes first? It's C. So at all the times, let's follow alphabetical odd meaning we are now going to have plus cos of an angle multiplying sine of an angle so let's see a da ba da a cos of an angle a let's see multiplying sum then we're having sine of an angle da ba da we are having plus cos squared of an angle so now let's see i'm not sure if you guys realize we actually two we are having two of those. So that means already in the middle, we are having two of cos angle multiplying sine of an angle. But can you guys see 
These two, when they are being added together, they result in one, if you remember from that list. So I think it was best for you to write what I was writing, because if you took a screenshot, then you won't be able to refer to what I'm talking about. But sine squared angle plus cos squared angle is always one. So that means we are actually having one there. So don't get confused when you are having sine multiplying cos. It is the same thing as cos multiplying sine. It's more like you're having P into 2 multiplying 3. This is the same as P 3 into 2. Exactly the same thing. So I'm not sure if honorable members of the opposition party are able to realize that actually the left hand side is equals to uh, the right hand side. Anyone who's got a question on that one, I think it was a straightforward question that one. But uh, just to confirm, can I move on? Bandubagiti, did it make sense to everyone? Yes, sir, it makes sense. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it makes sense. Okay. 100%. So I'm going to remove all of this. So if we have a priest in this class, or Mam Fundis, eh, please, honorable member, please pray that I make mistakes. Because with me making mistakes, that's how you guys are going to learn. With me making mistakes, eh, you will notice those mistakes and not do them in exam. So Please, Bantu Bagiti, let's pray harder. If you need to say fire, please, honorable member, uh, just make sure that your parents don't call a firefighter there. So, let's see. We are having this being equated to that. Here comes a question. Can we do something on the right side? No. You cannot do anything. Why? Because you already have sign. You've already got a F course. So it's more like under proving identities. We try to convert everything else to either a number, course, or sign. That is why where we see Tani, we know that is our starting point. Okay. Let's see. So that means... On the left-hand side, that's where we can try to do something there. But most importantly, you need to remember that you are having 1 divided by tan itself. It's actually sine of an angle over cos of an angle. But remember, guys, remember at all the times, do not find yourself having 1 over, let's say, 2 over 3. You rewrite this thing as 1 divided by then the whole of this being 2 over 3. Mathematically, we know that you need to then change that to a, a multiplication. So that means you're having 1 multiply and then you swap, uh, you swap those, meaning 3 to the top, that at the bottom. So now you can see that multiplying uh, that. So that means it ends up being that over. So let's maybe try to apply the same. So it's more like you're now having one, which is that one divided by a, the whole of that being sine of a angle. And then, hey, now we have a division. So we need to do uh, that and we swap. So let's see. This is what we are having after swapping. That now multiplies that. So having cos of an angle over sine of an angle. Hey, it seems like uh, we have worn. That is equals to that. So that's, that's where you can see the left-hand side is equals to the right-hand side. Honorable members, anyone who's got a question on that one, or was it also a straightforward question at uh, that one? Boingi, boingi. Uh, Hello, did sir. it make sense, honorable member? Yes, it did. Last one to confirm. Luandile uh, Zondo. Did it make sense, honorable member? Yes. Okay, 100%. So very quickly, let's move on to uh, the next question. 
and see how far we can go with that one. So remember, guys, uh, this type of problems, you need to be aware of all the tactics involved. So let's see. We are now having 1 over sine squared of an angle minus a cos squared of an angle divided by sine squared of an angle. This is equals to a 1. I'm just not sure. Uh, who was that honorable member who requested to re-explain that portion? Honorable member, I'm about to re-explain it now on this problem. Uh, are you still there? Who was it? Uh, let me see. I can't remember who the honorable member was. Uh, but was it you, Salizwa? Salizwa, was it you? Maybe it was. Uh, yes, but it's fine. Okay, so what I was saying was there's this sign uh, which looks like uh, that. Maybe let me always have it there at the corner. You multiply the ones at the bottom, then you cross multiply. In terms of the sign, you use it exactly as it is. So let's see. You multiply these ones at the bottom. So it's more like uh, bringing communities together. So let's see. Let's put that and that. Let's bring those together. So that means we are having a sine squared a, of an angle a, and then we are also having sine squared of an angle. We are not really doing much. It's just to combine those two as this thing says. Then now we cross multiply. You start with that one at the top being one. It, it's, it's been cross multiplied with uh, that. What is the sign? It's a minus. You do the same. You start with what you found uh, there. So uh, can you see you're having that being cross multiplied with uh, that. So now let's see. It seems like at the top we've got a common factor bandu bagiti. Maybe for the sake of not confusing someone, let me remove those brackets and say da ba da. It ends up being sine squared of an angle minus da ba da. So can you see? Start with the cos multiplying sine cos s comes second. Da ba da. You can just write it as sine squared of an angle multiplying sine squared of an angle. So what I meant by common factor, can you see you're having sine squared, you have maybe let's take it to the other side uh, uh, or to the outside as a common factor. Then we end up having uh, that. That is multiplying uh, that. Okay, so hey, I'm not sure if I'm the only one who realized that can actually cancel with uh, that. Hmm. And we are remaining with this thing, Bantubagiti. Uh, uh, seems like we're getting somewhere here. But wait. Wait, 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 wait. Did we not say this thing? It comes from a sine squared angle plus cos squared angle, which is equals to 1. And if you take cos to the other side, it's more like you're saying sine squared that is equals to 1 minus cos squared that. So that means the whole of this being that, it's actually equals to sine squared of an angle. So that is why I'm going to say sine squared of an angle divided by sine squared of an angle. Then this divided by that, it's actually equal. Just this. Just this. I'm not sure if you guys realize that a... Uh, the left hand side is equals to the right hand side. Anyone who's got a question on that one, Bantu Bagiti? Or did that make sense? Please move on so everyone understood. Hey, um, uh, our spokesperson has said honorable members. Let's see. Um, number four. Now we are having tan x multiplying a uh, cos x and the whole of that is equals to sine x, which is equals to one. So let's see. It seems like this is what we need to work out because we always try to convert. Could be tan It could be a brackets 
cos squared whatever reciprocals to a number or sine of cos. So it seems like we might need to look at the left hand side. So let's see, tan itself is the same as sine angle over cos of an angle, multiplying cos of an angle, the whole of that divided by sine. It seems like this cancels with uh, that. And then we remain with a sine x over sine x. That also cancels with that. It's equals. So can you see left hand side equals to the right hand side. So these are just the warm ups. In exam, what examiner is going to do is to take all of these things and fit them into one question, meaning all the tricks in each of these will be combined. So you need to understand how to work out this individually, that, that, and that, so that when we do some more complicated problems, you will have a better understanding of a, how to work out those. So let's see. I think that one also, it was an, an easy one. So let's see this one. Sine to the 4x minus cos to the 4x. This is being equated to sine squared x minus cos squared x. Someone is thinking this is equals to 1. It is not because of that sign of a minus there. It's only equals to 1 if it's a plus. So now it seems like this one's with bigger numbers. We can actually try to factorize those. Let's try to factorize this thing and see what we can get. So that means you're going to say the left-hand side, uh, then you work it out. I think if we say sine squared of an x, uh, and we also say cos squared of an x, and we do the same here, we might get something because it seems like um, this is factorizable. For us to take us back to there, we need a, a minus and a plus. Let's see. So that when you say this uh, by that, it gives you sine to the 4. Uh, that by that, it gives you a cos squared times sine squared. And then that by that, it gives you the same. They're going to cancel each other. That by that, it takes you back to that. So can you see? You have now factorized it. But I'm not sure if you guys realize that this thing is equals to 1. So that means you are actually having sine squared of an angle minus cos squared of an angle into 1. And da ba da, da ba da, it ends up being sine squared x minus cos squared x, which is equals to the right hand side. I think also that one. It was a straightforward question. Anyone who's got a question on that one? Or did it make sense to everyone? Shanti, are you okay yes, there, honorable member? Yes, sir. 100%. Remember, guys, this is to prepare you uh, for those complicated problems. Um, let's see. The next one is that one, which says cause of an angle into one plus tan of an angle. We close. This is equals to cause of an angle plus sine of an angle. Just remember to make sure that everything that I'm writing there is copied correctly. So let's see, hmm, maybe let's try to break down uh, that one. Or we can still say a uh, da ba da, a uh, da ba da. Maybe let's do that and say da ba da, it gives us that. And then say a uh, da ba da, it gives us uh, that. Uh, yes. Remember, guys, this is you saying the left hand side. Uh, it's equals to the whole of that. You realize you can't do anything to cause, you can't do anything to sign. You are therefore forced to work out uh, this one on the other side. Okay, 
let's see so you cannot do anything to cause that is why we're going to write it as cause plus you also have to write it as cause of an angle but you realize tan is actually a sign of an angle and cause of an hey those cancel and it seems like you're only remaining with a that and that let's just says is the same i'm not sure if uh, understand what we have done there i think it makes sense isn't it mm? yes sir. Uh... okay 100 percent. so let's see a uh, what happens when we move on to question number seven which is one minus a cos squared of an angle the whole of that is being divided by cos of an angle plus two cos of an angle plus one which is equals to one minus cos of an angle one plus cos of an angle yes uh, okay you realize you can't do anything to that. You can't do anything th to that. This one, you can just leave it as it is for now. You only touch it. But now, we've got drama here. Let's try to see what Hanan he saw. So let's see. Uh, you know already that this one is the same as something. But for now, Randile. Uh, why at this point in time would you not write that as sine squared of an angle? Why would you not do that? Bongi them a bongis. It's because you realize you have cause, you have cause, you have cause. Why change it to sine? You want everything to be the same so that you can nicely manipulate it. So that is the reason why at this stage you don't need to do much to that. Just write it as it is on, on the next step. You might have an idea of what to do with uh, that. So that is why I'm going to write it as it is. Hey, it seems like we have a quadratic type of a thing uh, there, which is factorizable. Let's see if we... So can you guys see the importance of being able to factorize? Someone is getting confused by seeing cause there. But this is actually the same as... um x squared plus 2x plus 1. You can easily factorize it. Just, uh, let's see, cos of an angle, cos of an angle, I think you have 1 and 1, obviously. And most importantly, let's see, da ba da, it has to give you that, da ba da, it has, give, it has to give, so it seems like it works perfectly if we have a plus and a plus, so that it takes us back to that. So now, can you see, it already tells you that you might need to factorize this such that something is going to be the same as something at the bottom and the other thing will be the same as that so that they cancel and then already it takes you back to that. That's how I knew how to not waste my time on this. What I would do when I factorize this one in the top, I just have to make sure that it has to end up looking like that so that means here uh, i'm still having uh, that and also a uh, uh, that i already know that a uh, something at the top it has to be the same same as that uh, even if you don't apply this type of approach you will try to factorize that and try to take it back and see if it does t uh, goes back to there but uh, let's see wait 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 i think uh, i have to try a uh, factorize it such that it makes sense uh, there so maybe let's say one and then that's when you can say plus course just so that uh, it makes sense when i explain it's it's actually the same thing just that I wrote cos first, then plus one, of which now I wrote it that way. Why did I do that? It's so that uh, I want to say, when you say da ba da, it has to give you one. Da ba da, it gives you negative cos. Da ba da, it gives you positive. Da ba da, it gives you 
a cos squared. So can you see negative that plus that they cancel out. So it takes you back to uh, that same thing. So now you realize that, okay, um, let's see. This thing, it is the same as that or that. Yes, it is the same. It's only that here you firstly started with one. So that's how examiner tries to be tricky and give you things differently. But you do know very well that this cancels with that. Even if you say that cancels with that, it's fine because it's the same thing. So in the end, you are left with a that, of which it does look the same as that one. It doesn't matter whether you say one minus cos of that, one plus cos of an angle, still the same thing. So left hand side equals right hand side. I'm not sure if there's someone who would like to rise on a point of order uh, in relation to that, uh, let's see. Ntabi saying, do you not want to rise on a point of order, honorable member? I see Lee Mbana is on the line. Nkanyezi. Nkanyezi. Everything is fine, say. Okay. 100%. So, very quickly, uh, let's move on to the next question being number eight. It seems like we're almost done, but I can tell you now, if we manage to finish all of this quickly, I am going to introduce some more uh, questions. We did some yesterday, and I think they are still relevant uh, to you guys. So, let's see. Number eight uh, what are we having uh, there? We are having one over one minus a, we have cos of an angle there, plus one over a one plus cos of an angle there. And this is being equated to two uh, divided by that. <clears throat> hey, Bantu Bagiti, you do not need to worry about anything. You just need to remember this sign. You just need to remember that sign. That's all. So let's see. You realize you cannot do much on this side. Let's say for now, you cannot do much on this side, even though you know that sine squared of an angle is the same as one minus cos squared of an angle. But you don't need to do much on the right side at this point in time. For now, let's try to work out the left hand side and see what happens uh, there. So we can apply that. Let's see. Let's bring communities uh, together. So you just combining uh, those at the bottom. Make sure to always copy everything correctly because you copied wrong. Can you see? Da, ba, da. I think obviously anything being multiplied by one, it's exactly the same as that thing. What is the sign there? It's a plus. And then da, ba, da, it ends up being exactly the same thing. But I'm telling you, in this case, examiner is being very friendly. Sometimes a uh, Lee, Lee lady, this is what examiner is going to do. Instead of them putting a plus there, they are going to put a minus. And someone is going to say, okay, eh, bring families together, and then you cross multiply, then in between you put a minus there. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you won't survive. Why? because of the power of a negative. When it's a negative, it is necessary to put that in the bracket so that you have an invisible one there, which you're going to use to say, adabda, adabda. be careful of that. You say, eh, when it's a minus, you need to be careful. But when it's a plus, don't worry that much. You can just write it as a plus. It doesn't change anything. So let's see. Hey, I'm not sure if you guys realize that cancels with uh, that uh, and that because it's cos angle minus, hey, one plus one, ah, Pantubagiti, that is two moves that we know. It seems like we're getting closer. But let's see, 
da ba da da ba da da ba da da ba da what are we having there da ba da it's one da ba da a cause of an angle da ba da negative a cause of an angle da ba da negative cos square of an angle i'm not sure if you guys are able to notice something but me i can see that is minusing with a that and you are now having 2 over 1 minus cos squared of an angle so can you guys see this is actually the same as sine squared angle that that is why with confidence i'm just going to write it as it is uh, and then say left hand side equals right hand side i'm not sure i'm really not sure if you guys are watching generations that side leslie them are leslie's why is it like you're watching generations that side honorable member mm -hmm. Not, um, listening. Uh, mzozo, mzozo. are we okay that side honorable member okay sir very okay let's see so spusi so maham uh, philadelphia it's on the line no tandem team cool zbuda zbuda tembe are we okay that side honorable member I see offense is on I the line. Positive is there. Uh, okay, then it's fine. Let's continue. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, uh, I'm just going to remove all of that. Uh, offense. I think just um, as I do this last question. Let's maybe introduce what we did yesterday. I think it will still be relevant and benefit some of the honorable uh, members, just so that when we get to more complicated stuff, uh, they will then have an idea of how to deal with uh, this type of fractions. Um, uh, let's see, this type of problems in a form of fractions. I think we might need to do everything in reverse uh, just remember to prepare those honorable member i haven't got them uh, nearby so i will just rely on you to share uh, those it seems like we still have some time i didn't think um, this was going to be this quick so let's see let's see let's see let's see see so p Maybe let me uh, put this one uh, on the table and say anyone who would like to give it a try, you just mention a name and I will recognize you, honorable member. So this is the problem. I think it's copied correctly there. And anyone... Uh, Chantel has given a... Okay, let's see. Anyone else who would also like to give it a try? Okay, Shanti, go for it, honorable member. What am I doing there? Um. Okay, so I'm going to choose to go with the... The left hand side. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna say one one over sine theta, and then I'm gonna change that mm -hmm. tan over theta to sine theta over cos theta. Is that fine, sir? So, so this is what I'm writing now. One, oh no, one over that. Mm -hmm. And then? Um, so, oh, that, that cross. Oh, okay. So then, is that going to be... Wait, let me just work this out quickly. 
Uh, yeah, but then it's still. I, I, I feel like the one is gonna go away. Iso ya happy man. Iso balegela kupi shanti. Because isn't it we can we can say one divided sine theta over cos theta. Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna cross, and then we're gonna um change the the signs, uh, and then it's still gonna yeah, remain so, cos theta over sine theta. Yeah. So what you have just said, it will result in uh, that. I think I have done something similar to that on the previous questions i'm just not sure but you are 100 yes, percent con- honorable member okay a uh, must be a command what am i writing there and then put your line sir mm-hmm. and then isn't it we can uh um this and this we have the same as the denominator so don't we um times them together yes. Okay, so obviously it ends up being that, or otherwise you can write both in brackets name. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And then afterwards we, is it cross multiplying? Mm-hmm. So then, tap it down, ooh. tap it down. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And then the same with the, with the other side. Cause, cause Peter. Okay. We say, yeah. Cause of an angle, then sine of an angle, okay? And then afterwards, um, okay, now here is where I'm stuck. Because out okay, in that... this puzzle, Umati, uh... suggestion why don't you remove sign outside as in the like... Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Then what am I writing? Shanti. Can so can we say sine theta? Mm -hmm. And then we say um one plus cos theta. I'm not sure. Yeah, one so one plus cos theta. Oh. No, you you um you put your um thing bracket okay. because yeah. One plus cos just, theta. Mm-hmm. Plus you I'm um, thinking brackets. Uh, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And then over that. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. um, Okay, so I, I don't, I don't know now. <laughs> um, can I continue for you? Can I? We, we, really? uh, Okay, Hamisa. Uh, yes, it's fine. Uh, go back, go back, go back. You simplify the sign, which is going to be sign open bracket mm-hmm. sign. Then after that, that sign and the bottom uh, sign will cancel each other. Oh, yeah. So it's more like Hamisa is saying a uh, sine squared is the same as a uh, sine angle multiplying mm-hmm. sine angle. Uh, then you're saying yes, this cancels with uh, that. Then you remain with uh, then the equation that. will be the same. Aibu, is it the same? Sir, I have a question. Then you go to the right, then you go to the right hand side, then you check okay. in uh, which quadrant is sun. Yes, uh, uh, yes, she, she is correct. Uh, order. Since sign, since sign will order, be in the positive members. quadrant. Order. Then the sign D will also be positive. Uh, Shanti. Please take your seat, honorable member. Uh, Hamisa, please take your seat. Uh, honorable member of the opposition party, on what point are you rising on? You are recognized 
confronter. I was wondering, sir, from step number two, can mm -hmm. we just write it as one plus cos theta over sine theta because the denominator is the same instead of doing the other two steps below? Uh, I get what honorable member is saying there. So you are asking why can't we just uh, say sine of an angle? And you're saying because it's a common, a, it's a common denominator. That's what you're saying, nay. Eh? Yes, sir. Sir, hey. sorry. A order. Who's a Shanti? On what point are you rising on, honorable member? You are recognized. Sir, you see, is it okay? Step step three, sir. At the bottom, mm. he didn't write the squared sine squared theta. Uh, okay, no, no. So this one, I removed it based on the honorable member's comment. Uh, I just want us to prove something there. So she's saying, why can't we remove that squared and just write it as sine angle? Because a uh, sine angle is actually a, a common denominator. But now the honorable member is on yeah. something. Yeah. Uh, often say, uh, continue honorable member i mean like instead of the the third step and the fourth step why mm. can't we just go straight to the answer because the de denominators are the same i'm not sure if you guys understand what the honorable member of the opposition party is saying and i think we need to go on a coalition on this one maybe for now, uh, offense, let's maybe uh, continue with this one. Then we will revisit that one so that uh, we'll check if honorable members are going to vote with you on that one. Then if we agree, I'm telling you, honorable members, we are going to be going on a coalition. So let's see. Uh, Hamisa, you are recognized honorable member. You can continue a honorable the president of the opposition party a, what were you saying regarding the right hand side i think shanti a, was actually with you on that one what were you guys saying there they in the right hand side it's written sign mm -hmm. open bracket 180 million squared which falls mm -hmm. under the second quadrant and the second quadrant sign is positive. Ooh. So we can just change it to be sign positive so it can look the same as the one from the left hand side. Then they'll be equal. Oh. Oh, meaning one plus cos of an angle over because this is a reduction formula and it takes you back because of that minus back to the second quadrant where sign is positive so that is why when it is being reduced it is now sine of an angle which is therefore equals to the left hand side okay a uh, honorable members just before we go to a uh, the other honorable member did you guys understand what we have done there Yes, sir. Let me see who's on the line. Ntabi uh, Singh, are you sure, honorable member, are you sure that you are not lost at that side? The Malwandis, Zondo. It makes sense, ne? Saliswa. Are you sure we're not losing you, honorable member? Precious is quiet. Eh, no, Loazi. How? 
Luyanda is there. I see Charlotte. Charlotte, are we okay that side, honorable member? Mkembana is there. Yes, I'm okay. Otembele is there. Okay, 100%. Uh, maybe let me indicate the reason why I like this type of lessons is because we have honorable members like uh, who are there to propose um, more options or more ways to work out uh, this type of problems. Uh, let's quickly work out that one from here and see uh, in which other way we can work it out. You are recognized honorable member. On what point are you rising on? Uh, sir, mm -hmm. the denominator is the same as sign theater. Let's start there. Oh, sign theater. Oh, Konjo, this thing is called... Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are aware. This thing, uh, Monday, you can call it sign theater. Tuesday, you can call it a uh, sign filter. And then uh, Wednesday, you can call it sign theater. I'm just not sure of Thursday. A and Friday, but for, for today, let's call it sign theater. Okay, now what do we do, honorable member? You take the numerators one plus cos theta. How just like that? And we are there. Hey, hey, and we are done. And we are done. But now, as a mathematician... No, sorry. Uh, yes. The right-hand side. It's one oh, yes. plus no, cos it... theta. Over sin theta. No, it's then. fine. Uh, left-hand side is equal to right-hand side. Oscar, we are like a honorable member. Unga katazegi. Unga katazegi kakulu. Uh, of course, we are done uh, there. So this is what I actually wanted to emphasize. This is what I wanted to emphasize, to say, as a mathematician, you therefore need to understand where can you use what and why did honorable member propose that. Let's say, I get it here, we are having one over sign that, and then we are having plus cos that over sign that only if the denominators are the same you are allowed to represent it as one denominator and then you write that as it is if it's one you write just one whatever the sign is there you write it as it is this is what i'm saying as a mathematician you need to ask yourself how possible or how so is it that when it's the same, you can just write it as it is. It's because even if you do it that way, by combining those two, you will realize it's actually the same thing, but this is a longer try. Let's see. Da -ba -da, you end up having that. Plus, da -ba -da, it ends up being cos of an angle, sine of an angle. Anyway, you're still going to take sine to the outside as a common factor, and you still have exactly what you had at the top. So let's see. Can you guys see that cancels with that? Then you remain with cos of an angle over sine of an angle, which is the same as that. I'm not sure if Ribantaka Nkulunkulu are now having a better understanding of why we say when the denominator is the same, you can therefore represent it as one. Does it make sense to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, 100%. So now the question is, what if the denominators are not uh, the same? So if they are not the same, no shortcut. This is what you apply. I hope you guys now understand that this thing, it can be applicable if the denominators are the same or if they are different.
If they are the same, then you know shortcut, as for shortcut, as for same. Different, obvious, difficult. Then you need to apply uh, that. So I think this was the last question on the list. A uh, maybe offense. A uh, can we maybe do that last question? A uh, that we're trying to crack yesterday, and I got how much the big time. An honourable member of the opposition party hammered it. Uh, I worked it out also, and I noticed my mistakes. Maybe let's conclude. Uh, today's parliament with uh, that question. What was that question, honorable member? I'm just not sure. I think it was, was it one over? What was it? Was it Cosquet? Engel. I'm not sure if it was a minus or a plus. And then we are having these. Uh, offense. Do you still remember that question? or anyone who attended yesterday. Remember guys, you might be in grade 12 uh, and not knowing that you can still benefit from my grade 11 lessons. There are those who don't care whether I do a grade 10, 11 or 12 lesson. They join uh, all the lessons that I do. Reason to that is because at all the times there will be something new to learn. So it's not only about you and attending lesson according to your grade. If you feel like this lesson was valuable uh, and you've noticed that you've learned some new things, it is an indication that in any of the lessons that I conduct, you will always learn something new. So to those who attended my grade 11 uh, lesson yesterday, what was that? Did I copy it correctly there? So, this was Very equals doesn't. to one. Mm -hmm. One. Uh, other honorable members. Let's see. So, so, so. Uh, what was it? One minus centita over uh, one plus centita. 1 minus sine theta over 1 plus sine theta. Uh, hey, sine theta. Okay, let's see. Uh, remember, this, this thing means two of the same thing. So we can now maybe focus on the left-hand side and say, uh, actually, this means two of the Sir? same thing. Yebo? The course, it was just course... Yeah, not cos squared. Okay, 100%. So they're saying there it was just cos a uh, theta. So let's see, 1 over cos theta minus, um, here we are having, okay, let's say tan theta there, and then 1 over, remember, 2 of the same thing. So I'm just going to write it as it is. Okay, most importantly, you realize you might be doing a zabda, a zabda, a zabda, a zabda. Okay, so now let's see. A, one can decide to break down a, that tongue and write it as sine over cos. Sine over cos. I'm telling you guys, yesterday, I underestimated this question. I underestimated this question and I didn't prepare for it. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I got hammered a big time. Uh, and I was wondering, where am I making a mistake? Later, when honorable members uh, went to their respective homes, that's when I noticed my mistakes. And I said, um, on the next parliamentary meeting I am going to uh, then indicate where I made some mistakes most importantly uh, two of the same thing da, ba, da. so let's see da, ba, da, it ends up being one over cos squared of an angle uh, da, ba, da, it ends up being what obviously negative 
and then you're having sine of that over cos squared of an angle. That, that it ends up being a sine angle over cos squared of an angle. That, that, that it ends up being, remember, be careful of the sign, it's a plus. Then you have sine squared of an angle over a, what is this? Still cos squared of an angle. Let's see. So, I'm not sure if you guys are able to realize something. Something very much important. And I think this is where a, I actually complicated it. Instead of me doing what the honorable member is saying and say, can you see, we are actually having a common factor there being cos squared a, of an angle. Then you just write that as it is. That as it is. That as it is. So I think I was obsessed in trying to apply a, this sign by trying to say maybe if I can apply it on that and that and also apply it on that and that. Whereas you just need to be careful of the denominators. I think so. A offense, that's how I used to learn in high school. When I realized this is not applicable to every type of a problem, then I notice here you were saying we can just have a common denominator. Then that's what I would add on to that. You say if it's the same, you apply. Check also if you're having a same denominators or different denominators. Then every time when I practice, I know I'm using updated notes or updated guideline. Then now I'm able to notice that, okay, here I end up having 1 minus 2 sine angle plus sine angle, the whole of that divided by that. Here's another thing. Can you see you are having sine and sine there? Why not immediately change this one to sine so that it's easier? So let's say maybe you noticed. Um, okay, maybe let's write it uh, there. So now you can just write it there as sign uh, that and that. Because you know cos squared angle is equal to 1 minus sine angle. Yeah, boo. Uh, is it a question coming so, through? Uh, like, um, I like the previous steps. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. A... So, like, from the mm -hmm. second last, it, like, the, this there one. is no sign theater. Where did the sign, <laughs> yes, sir. Where did the squared go, sir? Oh, yes. No, 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 no. Uh, that one is not a question. You are actually pointing out a mistake that I made. I'm sure other honorable members uh, they also noticed but because i bribed them uh, they accepted my bribe hey honorable members did you not tell them uguti a cold drink you rise on a point of order and uh, you request the speaker to withdraw uh, Hamisa, I'm not sure if you did not tell honorable members that uh, this parliament is very, very serious and committed to the masses of our people. Uh, can I withdraw, honorable member? Do you accept my withdrawal on that one? I think my withdrawal uh, will be accepted. So let's see. Now let's factorize that. Very, very much important that you know how to factorize. Very, very much. In, if you do not know how to factorize, then it's a problem. Also that one. 
we might need to factorize it. So let's see. We have one, one, so that when you say da, ba, da, it gives you one. Let's see here, sine of an angle, sine of theta. So let's see, obviously, a, for us to end up having two of that, that's if we have minus and a minus. Da, ba, da, it gives us that, da, ba, da, da, ba, da, takes us back to there, da, ba, da, it's a positive sine squared, da, yes. A, obviously, when you factorize that, the perfect square, you're just going to have a, those same things, but in terms of the signs, on the other side, you're going to have a minus, on the other side, you're going to have a plus. So, can you guys see that cancels with that? And then now it is the same as a, a that. I'm not sure. A, did it make sense to everyone? Often say, are you sure I did not make? any mistake there or jump any uh, steps. But I think this is the shortest uh, possible way of working it out. I'm not sure if honorable members uh, agree with me on that one. It's Let me emphasize to say, it's not like this problem was a complicated problem, but I'm telling you, if you underestimate this type of problems, what confuses is when you don't know where you've made a mistake. Kola, utulile lab. Are you sure? Sisonge lang. I'm listening, sir. But do you understand or uh, have you got any questions, honorable member? No, I'm following. Everything is fine, sir. I'm not sure, Lee, if you are listening uh, to Honorable Madisha saying Hong 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 is Buddha. Are you sure that you are not listening to Honorable uh, Naledi Pando saying Hong 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 Hong? Let's see. Are you following, honorable member? Yes, sir. Hey, Leslie the Malesleys. I think this is this is our last question for today, honorable member. I'm just wondering if there's something that I wanted to a uh, that I wanted to say okay i just remembered it's fine but guys i'm about to sign out a uh, for today's lesson but this is going to be the code uh, for today's lesson what is meant by the code so the code that's where you guys uh, send whatever that i'm going to say just so that we know who has attended today's lesson so i think tomorrow's lesson uh, it will be conducted by say TK. So this is what we're going to do, honorable members. Uh, remember, guys, maths is done by uh, myself and Mr. TK. Reason to that is because during my time, there are some chapters that I did not do. So uh, say TK is there to make sure that he fill in uh, that uh, gap. So I realized if I had to uh, take some time and learn those chapters by myself and still teach them, it might take me some time. So that is why we are now uh, having two tutors for mathematics. It is just to make sure that we do not delay you guys on those other chapters that I haven't done or covered during my time. So this is going to be the code for today's lesson. Uh, I won't say the code for today is da ba da, da ba da, but I'm telling you, sometime this month, you will get a code of that nature. But for today, just comment with whatever that you do not understand under this section of um, trigonometry. Maybe let me remove all of uh, this. Yes, I think I can remove all of this and just... Um, making an, exa an example there. Someone can say, 
uh, what is that one? Someone can maybe say general solution, meaning it was done at school, but maybe uh, you did not understand it. Someone can say a uh, trick functions. Yes, a uh, trick function. Someone will say, uh, what is it? Simplify. And the other one, I'm just not sure if proving identities uh, will be one of your problems. But maybe just mention uh, one or two, or you can just mention one and check. If someone hasn't mentioned whatever then you mention, or otherwise, uh, it's fine. Don't check who mentioned what. Just mention according to uh, your struggles. Yeah, I think uh, comment according to your struggle. I'm about to sign out. I'm not sure if... Uh, yes, Kabza. So I wanted to ask, ask now. Like, I, I'm struggling with the 3D sun cost and mm -hmm. area rule. Can I also write that down? Hey, uh, Kabza, I heard like you're talking about SIM cards there. Uh, so SIM I'm saying is SIM card. Uh, I'm saying that <laughs> I'm struggling with the mm -hmm. trigonometry um, section where it's like sin, cos, and area 3D rule. So, like, I'm struggling with that. So, can I also write that down? <laughs> Minya? Oh, yes, 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 yes. A very good question there. I think... Under trigonometry, anything under a... Not necessarily what we have covered. So anything under trick, you can just uh, mention it. I'm sure it now makes sense, honorable members. I realize now that I wasn't actually clear. So it's not only limited to what I've written there or what we have done today, but even what we have not done with uh, our lessons, you can also mention that. Uh, Kola, did it make sense, honorable member? Mzozo is about to, to let me uh, run away. Uh, Sir. Did it make sense, Pantibagi? Yes, from my side. Sir, so can I ask a question? Okay, guys. Oh, Sir. yes, you are recognized honorable member. So I'd like to ask if you have like a question once you are done with mm -hmm. our lesson, like you have tried with um a past paper and then you come across a question, you try to um, attempt it and then like you fail. Mm. And then like you, where must we we must be sended everyone's help. Say. Oh, okay. No, I see. I think I understand what Honorable Member uh, is saying uh, there. So, first thing first, especially from my side, uh, I don't want to lie. These things are hammering. If you are practicing something that has a memo, in my case, a, I've never failed to interpret a memo. So don't worry that much about that one honorable member. So this is what happens. This is what happens. When you go to a home page, when you go to home page where you guys write a test, I just forgot what is the name of that folder? I'm not sure if it's student center or something of that nature. You will realize where it says, if you've got a question regarding a mess or whatever, 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 there's a link. There's a link. And mine, I think it is this one. A mine, it is this one. So you will find a list of links in there. You just go in there, you click on that link, then you send what you have done. But most importantly, in my case, uh, I will gladly assist you if you can say, this is the problem that I've done 
and it comes from a this question paper because what used to happen previously elena uh, would be asked this question to prove that let's say 2x plus 14 over a uh, 13 prove that it is equals to 17 over 3. i'm telling you Luazi, this is what happened a uh, londili someone then uh, mistakenly wrote a minus there and i took 30 weeks honorable member trying to prove whether this thing is equals to that only to realize that just says they made a mistake it was supposed to be a plus then that means i lost a full 30 weeks so Hello, I come back. Uh, I just noticed my battery died. Luckily, I've got this other device. But did, did you get what I was saying, honorable member? Uh, you go to home page. Yes, sir, I did. Thank you. That link. I will just comment in the group regarding the name of that uh, topic. You just open it, you'll find a link. Then once you click on that, on that link, you send a screenshot of the question itself, the source, if it comes from 2017 question paper, and then also you send a, your working. In that way, it, it's encouraging me to know that you have tried and you failed. If it's something that can easily be corrected uh, by just responding via a text, I will do that. But if not, then it means on next lesson, it will be included. So that's what happens when you catch up. So just in case if you catch up on previous lessons and then uh, you come across something which was explained but is not clear and you've got questions, you raise that on the next live lesson. Remember guys, uh, the tutors, myself included, Monday to Friday, uh, eight to five, we are at work. That's why we have a manager who responds to your chats on a telegram so i only see those when i get home so sometimes you might be thinking you're chatting with the tutor but only to find that is um, a manager on the line uh, but did, did it make sense uh, Luandiswa? i think it made sense they to did uh, everyone so i think uh, guys we can just leave it here for today and call it a night i'm not sure uh, Buddha, is it okay that side that I run away? Hmm. Okay, guys. Let me just make sure that you guys are very, very nice. And I'm out.